We are here, we are here, we are here. On his amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up CAD, CHF. We are on the 12 month time frame. Price action last candle to right hand side is a bearish red doji. So that mark is in consolidation. It did break below the second last candle of overall, I should say the second and third last candle of overall structure. So now we got to figure out what's going on here. Also, second last candle is reading as a retest to that previous double top or a pattern that was formed at that area that pushed current price down. So as current price being a bearish red candle, it can work its way down further. It can reverse, work its way back up, or it can consolidate sideways. But so far, we are we do know we are in consolidation. So, so the price, because the price action can do, is a doji, bearish red doji. So any type of dojis would consider consolidation. Let's look at take a look at current price. Current price is sitting at 0 0.66738. So let's figure out what's going on in the market. So we do know that price action has broken below um, overall areas of lower lows of structure, which is be green, green and red. So the lowest green and red that we do have is near the numbers of 0 0.69142. So market did break those levels. Um, so we have to figure out what's going on at that bottom. So. If once we identified the structure of that low, so once we see that market broke, now we're looking forward to see what's hanging out at the bottom. The only thing that's hanging out left is that fourth to last candle wick. So we're gonna grab that fourth to last candle wick and we're gonna put that into uh, SR line to the top and to the bottom so we have a resistance and support. And also we're gonna take a zone and place it right around that area so we can see what's going on as we walk down. And we can implode the overall structure and the fourth the last can do wick it did spike that low lost momentum so it could be identifying a spike down to work its way up further so let's talk about it so if price work is way back up it can head to the numbers of as i said before 0 0.69142 price action is below the midpoint of that zone so if it pushes down further it can head to the numbers of uh zero point six six seven three two which would be that as i said before bottom of the fourth last candle but then we did receive a spike down to the low of that price action candle that pushed that market down just a little bit further so let's just grab that little bit of a low of that wick which would be near the numbers of six excuse me zero point six four seven three nine so once we start seeing market breaks out of that area if it does happen then we know that market creating new levels of uh, lower lows of structure or just push down with lower lows. We don't know what's going to reverse or not. So it's not structured until we see identify green and red towards the bottom. So let's talk about what can happen in the market. So because of that fourth to last can do spike down and the previous size spike down, so we can see how many times that market touched that area of that zone that we created. So when that market did spike that low, let's identify the touches, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, and the market could work its way up. So market pushes up out of that area, we're looking for this price action candle to turn into a bullish green candle, work its way up, and then we'll eventually look for it to break out of the SR lines and then finally break through the top of the second last candle of that body and then we look into it for it to engulf that wick of the second last candle but you don't want to grab that primary wick to that high because it may not make it that far so you just grab the second to uh second area of that wick so if you think about it as um skyscrapers antenna we have a tall antenna and a second antenna side by side so you're going to grab between the tall antenna and the second antenna and this is where you place your sr line so market has a better chance of reaching this level here before reaching that overall highest of that second last can do wick because that may not happen and if we do see it breaks these levels then we can look forward to go to the following um high which would be the second last candle of that wick mirroring the numbers of 0 0.78439 and if the market pushes down, let's see where it's coming from. The same way we grab those resistance, and we're just going to take that SR line, go across with a line right here. So when that market broke into it, came back to retest, that pattern is identifying for that first, second, 
third, fourth, retest overall with the second and third last candle and the market pushed down so market's coming from a what double top and a retest decline as we can see or a triple top or that market can consolidate sideways so it could continue to consolidate inside that zone a blue zone that we created before the market breaks up or breaks down working our way to the six month time frame. So price action on the six month time frame is reading as a bearish red doji. So same candle on the 12 month time frame market is consolidating basically got to wait till the market identify itself. So as we walk down the time frame, we're going to see if the market is pushing down further consolidating sideways or working its way back up. So 12 month and six month is re still reading the same, same as the three month time frame. The only thing different is that we have another doji side by side so now we have two doji so that's showing that the market did consolidate sideways with the price and sector last candle but also it did create a little bit of a decline so what this market is reading with the price in second is that um the second last candle spiked down market came back to retest uh the price action candle spike down it pulled back a little bit so it can do a full reverse to turn into a bullish green candle another candle can push up and if so it can you can see that double bottom so to the low is reading as a double bottom to the high is reading as a double top so that's why we have that consolidation so market is still in the same area of that zone yes it has declined but it's still considered consolidation with a little bit of a decline on the monthly time frame price action bullish green candle spike down to a low so this is that double top that we can see so so far price in seconds reading as a double top price action bullish green candle trying to work his way up so you're looking for price to break above the midpoint to push that market up so if you want to take an area uh, level by level you look for price to break through the second last candle midpoint and then you're looking for it to break through the second last candle body or wick or you just grab that midpoint between the body and wick uh, near the prices of zero point six seven eight six seven or price to break out of numbers of zero point six six eight 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 working our way to the weekly time frame so price action weekly time frame is reading as a bullish green candle this candle still has momentum to push up the reason why is because the second last candle and the third last candle spike down to the lows so that means it lost a lot of momentum and it could be pushing up so we're looking for a price action to engulf the previous side which will be the fourth and fifth the last candle in the in the market so if that market breaks out these numbers of 0.668 for two we'll see that pattern for that overall first second third and we'll see that market push so once once the market pushes out we can see that it can probably head up to the next level which will be what the midpoint of the zone so the midpoint of the zone of the blue zone will be the near the numbers of 0 0.67764 and then that would close out the formation of the w then you're looking for the break and retest if it does happen if not market could just push right up to that zone and press right back up to the high walking to the daily time frame grabbing that second to last candle in the market creating a zone around that area replacing the deleting the previous zone so as we walk down the time frame we want to see um, what pattern was formed as we can see is a double bottom so where's the price is currently at we can see is at a retest so we have that first second third fourth okay that's the break of that midpoint or so SR line that's the retest and that's the top of that zone now is it going to push up further it's going to consolidate sideways or it's going to drop back down for full retest to that to still break its way out that zone so this is what we are waiting for four hour time frame so within this day we have consolidation so we can see that patterns forming and this is what we want to pay attention to why because it's breaking out the zone other than that also below price we have a pattern forming for that first second third market pushed out for the fourth price action is a retest is it going to follow up the bullish green candle to work its way up or is it going to drop back down through the zone or maybe just stop at the midpoint of the zone or the previous sr line so we have price action on the Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, C-A-D-C-H-L.